guys, Jess here, and welcome to Minecraft Diaries. I've done a lot of work around the village, and I repaired quite a few things, but I've also made a few upgrades. And I'm gonna show those off to you right now, but also, today we have to go, and we have to go to the village of Matelli because we told Lawrence that we would help him find the chicken shaman and cadenza and all that crazy stuff that's going on over there, but... First, let me show you all the crazy stuff that I did to my home. Now, as you will see, if I just adjust my camera like so, I've made a huge expansion here in terms of my storage. Now, I had a small little storage unit, kind of a little cluttered too, but now I have this entire area. As you can see, I got my wooden items, my dirt, my armor, and ores, and you all, you can see the signs. Um, and I've already categorized a few things. I think some categories are off because I was kind of in a rush to do this after building the whole town um, back up from scratch but you know what um, I think it looks good for right now so I'm gonna leave it just like that but not only did I do an expansion here I also expanded little Levin's room so let's go inside and see exactly what I did now as you can see oh look Zoe's still here she's always here she's, she should just like live here I'm gonna make her like a little room or something somewhere um, anyway so as you can see Levin's room is now expanded because as things are progressing he's getting more stuff like from the villagers so I decided to make his room just a little bit bigger. And um, I think it's really good. So let's see what Zoe's up to and how Levin's doing. Hello, Fmao. I'm trying to get Levin to stand up and walk to those blocks. I think he might be ready to grow up soon. You know how kids age. It's so fast. He'll be a toddler before you know it. Hey, Zoe, can you use your magics to break a sealed book? Ooh, yeah, that's right. Zoe is a magic user, so she might be able to break that sealed book that Sasha left behind. A sealed book? Hmm, I'm sorry, I cannot do a book binding spell. I only specialize in magics of defense. Though I know there's someone in the south who can use powerful magics. Though I don't know his name. I'm sorry, take care out there. Aw, well, okay, at least we asked her. I mean, it was a good idea to ask her, so, yeah, let's see. Um, so, she says someone in the south. I'm assuming, and look at little Levin. Aw, I haven't held him in, well, I held him the other day. Well, like, when I was doing the stuff, but I haven't held him in, like, forever on camera. I'm not, I need to get him from Zoe, but Zoe's been so attached to him. She's, like, his caretaker. Um, all right. Which is really nice to have her because, you know, she she just really helps out with Levin. And when he gets older, he can go on adventures with me. Um, and look at all the doggies. They're really protected and everything. Aww. You guys have been doing such a good job. And yeah, I put in that iron door I was talking about. And I also made it so you have to, like, use a button. And um, if anything bad happens, Zoe can just, like, open the door and knock off that button. And not have to worry about that. And, of course, we got our dog defense system here. Um, so, I think I'm going to leave the dogs here while I go to the village of Matelli. I, I think I should be perfectly fine. Jiggy, you are the guard dog for the door you all oh you know what you guys need something to eat so let's grab you some food before i leave um just so you guys have like full bellies there we go you got food there you got food here there we go food for everyone everyone's got food good 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 nope nope phoenix nope sit down nope sit 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 guys you 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 gotta you gotta you gotta stand in formation you gotta make it look good here make me look like a responsible owner who knows how to train their dogs even though like my dogs are, like, everywhere now. But I'm sure they'll protect uh, little Levin, and they should be fine. Um, oh, also, I forgot to show you guys and tell you what I did up here. So I didn't do a lot of renovations because I think I want to make my house just a little bit bigger, and I want to make it a little bit more fancy. And I'm not so sure if I want to use, like, wood to make it. So I'm thinking um, I'm going to, like, farm a little bit more to get some items that I can uh, use to make this look a little nicer. Maybe, like, fortify with stone or something. And there's Gareth. And and there's Dale. Goes this right here. There's Dale. Just, um, look at that. Dale is... <sighs> Garth, what's going on? Dale. I see you got your helm back. Yeah, he got his helm back. Hmm? Oh, yes. It came in this morning. Raven brought it for me. So, about Dale. He's doing better with his drinking thing. I think he started it up again because his son is coming back to the village to take a guard position. I just don't know, Athmau. I'm not too comfortable taking on Dale's son as an apprentice after what happened with Xenix. You have to let it go, Gara. Not everyone is like Xenix. Or he might just he might be just like Xenix. Um his son might be just like Xenix. Oh god. Uh you have to let it Yeah, you have to let it go, Gara. You're right. You're right. Anyway, you should head to Matelli. Lawrence is expecting you. Uh, you spoke with him? Yes, I did. He's not such a bad guy. We have the same resolve to protect our village. I just don't like the way he's ungentlemanlike around you. Safe travels, Afmao. I'll take care of everything from here while you are gone. Oh, okay. Uh, I hope you can take care of everything from here because Dale looks like he's completely out of commission. Zzz, when I grow up, I want to be a spoon. Okay, well, uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, maybe we should just try to get that away from him at some point in time, but I'm sure Garth will take care of it. Garth's on the case, and while I'm speaking of, like, drinking and like, eating, I don't know how I eating came into the conversation just now, but let's, uh, let's grab some, some food, because I'm gonna, I look like I'm getting hungry, and I'm gonna take some raw beef so I can cook that on the way there. Um, so we're gonna go to the village of, uh, Metelli, and you know what, I'm gonna grab, because I... Didn't bring my boat back is what I realized. So I'm just gonna use a regular boat for right now. I I should have brought my boat back, but I didn't, and that was my fault. So, <laughs> yep, I didn't bring my boat back. It's all good, but I I'll go get it some other time. It's just Lawrence took off after he let me use his wyvern, and oh, whatever. Let's go see how the village is doing, and then we will head to the village of Matelli and see how things are going there. And as you can see, I've, ooh, what is that? I hear like little zombies and everything. The babe house has been repaired. Um, this this house has been repaired. I kind of did an okay job on the roof. I don't think I did a great job on the roof, but I did an, a, a decent job, I think. Um, I have all the villages' houses repaired, even the where the place where Emelyn were, who I don't know where she's at anymore. Like she was lying down on like the little uh, police or like little not the police, but the little hospital thing they have set up over there. And yeah, it's just been whoa. There's an elephant. Oh, all right. So we got Donna in front of us. Let's talk to her. Good morning, Afmao. Good morning. You're very cheery today, or good morning. Now, leave me alone. <laughs> I would like to say the second one, but I want to be a nice person, so you're very cheery today. Hee <laughs> hee. Of course I'm cheery today, Afmao. After all, it's not every day a gal gets engaged. I wish you could have seen it. It was sunset. Logan and I were walking on the shore, hand in hand. I wasn't even looking at him. I was too busy looking at the sun. When I turned around, there he was on one knee and popped the question. That sounds very cheesy. Oh, it was lathered in cheese, but Logan is very kind and charming when he cares, and believe it or not, he's actually my type. Uh, why are- yeah, why are you telling me this, Donna? Why is this relevant? Well, I want to ask you something. I wouldn't have come to this village and met Logan if it w were not for you. Although we don't talk much, and I don't know if you even consider me close, I was wondering, would you be my maid of honor? <gasps> That's quite the honor! <laughs> like the responses that's quite the honor i accept your offer or uh no i don't even like you well donna has some questionable morals but she's a nice person at heart it seems so donna i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna say yeah that's <laughs> i would love to be your maid of honor really wonderful thank you now that you are my maid of honor i'll leave planning the entire wedding for logan and i in your capable hands yes wait what I'll, it'll have to be after I- yes, 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 thank goodness that option's there, because I don't want to plan a wedding right now, I'm kind of busy. It'll have to be after I get back from a telly. That's fine, I'm already ready to get married, so whenever you have everything prepared, Logan and I are good to go. <laughs> oh, also, if you need Logan to order anything for the wedding, let him know a day in advance. This is so exciting, I was afraid I would have to plan everything myself. I mean, er, I was afraid you would say no. Hee <laughs> hee, thanks again. Are you serious? I like how I said Donna was a good person at heart, and then Donna's like, Hoo -hoo, I get to, You get to plan everything for me. Kiki, what's going on? Afma, guess what? That Lawrence guy found one of my elephants while he was flying back to Matelli and was kind enough to bring it back to me. I'm so glad. I was scared. There's two more wandering around. If you see them, bring them home. Now, I gotta patch up this gal. She's covered in dirt. Oh, that's Juju. Look at Juju. Juju's so cute. And she's like, uh, isn't... Aren't elephants supposed to be scared of mice? And you, you, I need to get more, more, like, of that stuff for you, because I only have a small little bottle. I don't think that's gonna work on you. I'm gonna ask that shaman, too, because I'm a little afraid. I haven't seen mittens, so I don't know what the after effects are, like, of the potion on mittens, so I'm not gonna worry about Sean Connery just yet. I mean, he's been fine with Cuddlezilla in there for, like, ever. Look at him, he's just standing up. Uh, Logan, have you talked to Donna yet? She had something to, she wanted to ask you. Uh, yeah, I actually, I talked, and I did agree. Wonderful. Now don't screw up my wedding like you have your village. If you need anything, let me know. Even if it's not for the wedding, since you're helping, I don't mind ordering anything else you need. Well, the elephant was just loud right now and, like, blasted my ear. Um, so, Logan, Logan, I swear, they're perfect for each other. Logan has, like, a terrible, terrible rotten attitude, and Donna's just lazy. I don't know. Donna's just like, oh, you see, I'm gonna go check out hot guys and have... F me plan my wedding, B. Anyway, um, alright. So, let's see. 
it's getting kind of dark right now. So we've talked to Donna. We've talked to everyone. As you can see, the village is completely repaired. At least some parts are. I have even fixed up the little cul-de-sac that's over there in the corner. But I think I'm going to revamp the entire village. Like, I think I want to make a guard station for Garath um, and his, like, whole crew. Because he's just in down in the dumps lately. Like, he's been... Like, he's still his noble self. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like he's just out of it. So I think making him, like, a guard station would be awesome. So that way he can have, like... You know, he can train Dale's son who's coming back. I remember when Dale's son was born, man. That was a while ago. Um, anyway, let's head to the village of Matelli, and all my dogs are going to stay here, so they should be perfectly fine. Um, Lawrence is probably over there already. I would assume so, unless Ungerth is here, the wyvern. And Oh, no, never mind. I thought I could ride the wyvern over to, to uh, Matelli, but I guess I can't. All right, so let's just use a regular boat and go. And maybe we can go get my boat back. I think that would be great if I could just get my boat back. We're gonna go into the sea of endless cats. But yeah, so now I have a wedding to plan. Uh, or I don't even have a chapel in my village. That's the, that's the thing that, that's terrible. I don't even have a chapel. Um, I have no idea where I'm gonna get like, you know, how, where I'm gonna order food from or, oh gosh, I have no idea what's gonna happen. So I, I have no idea how I'm gonna plan this wedding. I, I'm, oh look, the sea of cats. If I ever want a kitty cat, like if I, if I ever want a, oh, meowkey? No, meow, it's not meowkey. But if I ever want more kitty cats, I know where to go. Like, these cats love water. They're just like water cats. That's all they are. Like thunder cats, but we got water cats. Water. Water. Water cats. Or not, not, a, not a Wookiee sound, but like, you know, uh, like, like they're drowning. Like, something like that. All right, evil slime. It's time to go away. Oh, that's right. It pops into more slimes. I, I don't know why I almost forgot about that. There we go. At least I have some stuff to make more leads with now. Look at that. Look at all this crazy stuff. Alright, so we're in the village of Matelli right now. And... What is that noise? There's a spider behind me. Go away, spider! I don't want you here. Where's that other... Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. And there's another one here somewhere. Oh, never mind. I guess, I guess it died. Alright, so... Ooh, there's Lawrence. I see Lawrence right there. Um, alright, so what's going on? What's going on, Lawrence? Uh, just make sure no nothing's behind me. Afmal, thank goodness you are here. Hayden and Kenmer are going at each other's throats right now. So I haven't been able to go check on Caster, the chicken shaman. Uh, I'll go check on him. Alright, I'm so sorry. I would head over there with you, but I have to keep these two from ripping each other's heads off. I know their guards would be able to keep them from each other, but Hayden's guard gets very emotional, and she wouldn't hold back. If you want to head in there, feel free, but you be sure to leave all your items inside of that chest over there. You can retrieve them when you leave. Sorry, it's procedure. Ooh. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, because Lawrence told me about the golden lasso and the spies and... All the crazy- Alright, so let me take off all my armor. Get, like, naked. Not, like, naked, but, you know, my armor is gone. Um, alright, so everything is inside of this chest. There we go. Everything's in. Lawrence, see? I have nothing on. I am completely, completely unarmed. So let's go inside and see exactly what's going on in here. Uh, oh, wow. Everyone's in here. Uh, Hayden. I don't want to hear it, punk. You were just acting like this to throw off my campaign. I bet you have her safe somewhere and just want me to leave. I swear I've always been wary of you since the day you arrived here. Ooh, my goodness. We need to work together to find Cadenza. I'm just as worried about her as you are, sir. See, Hayden seems like he's just, like, old-fashioned and, like, you know, trying to get onto Kenmer and stuff like that. I, I don't know if I agree with Hayden the way he's acting, but Kenmer's guard... I understand how Hayden feels, but he needs to calm down and listen to reason. Yeah, I agree, Kenmer's guard. You, you, you got your head on straight. What about you? You need to keep your business out of our house family affair. Whoa, okay, all right. Uh, yeah, so we, we, um, we have a pro- Okay, so Hayden's guard and Kenmer's guard are just in the background, kind of just- Oh, man, I don't- I wouldn't want- <laughs> Yeah, Lawrence, you got a lot to worry about here. You got two people who want to be the new Lord of Matelli, and they're, like, just- Constantly going at each other over Hayden's missing daughter, Cadenza, who we all know is okay. I mean, she's with she's with Castor. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Um, I'm not sure if that's a good thing because the chicken shaman is kind of crazy now that I think about it. All right, let's just grab our stuff and go see the chicken shaman. We know where his his little shed is. Let's go see exactly what he's doing. And um, I'm gonna take this and put my white candles um over there. There we go. All right, let's go take a look and see exactly what's going on. If we can find the chicken shaman. What is that? Oh, that, that's, a, that's a person. Alright, that person's fine. They're, they're not gonna drown. They're, they're gonna be fine. Um, oh, there's a pig. And oh, there's scorpions. Oh gosh, I have to be ready for this. I have to be ready for taking on scorpions. Oh! Oh no, scorpions! Oh, baby scorpions! It exploded into little ones! 
And now I'm poisoned! No, save me! I don't want the baby scorpions. Nope. I, so sorry, baby scorpions. You're adorable, but you must you must go. I don't want to be scorpionized. There we go. All right, man. It is dark. I really should have gone to sleep. Oh, they're a werewolf. I no. I don't want to deal with the werewolves. I feel bad killing them every time because I know that they like I'm friends with the werewolf tribe, and I don't want them to go back and be like, what what was that noise? There's a little zombie chicken chasing me. How dare you turn on your people, chicken? Be a mount for a zombie? For shame, chicken. That little zombie is just very- You know, I'm gonna come face it. Come come at me, bruh. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me. Ah. Down. Deaded. It's dead. It's done. The deed has been done. Alright, so there's a chicken shaman's hut. Ooh, he should be good. Oh. Hey! Hey! Stop it, skeleton. Alright, what's going on over here? Ugh. What's this? Ooh. Hello. Wait. What's that? That's not good. Uh... All right, well, here, let's talk to this guy first. Dr. Bees. Whoa, I wouldn't go in there, young madam. There's been a slaughter. My bees and I could not make it in time to save them. Uh, how would bees make this situation better? Bees make everything better. If there's a problem, just unload a herd of bees everywhere. Bees to the rescue. Okay. Oh, they buzz. <laughs> He's like, bee! <laughs> oh, bees. And, uh, this is not good. This is, I hope, oh my gosh, this is a slaughter? <gasps> uh, all the chickens are gone. What's that? It's a note. If you want what remains of your people, come to the nether. If you don't, they won't make it out alive. Sasha. Oh, and there's that death bloom thing there. What? Oh, there's just... Oh my gosh, what about- <gasps> Cadenza! I just- I just remembered! So if he went to the nether with Cadenza- Oh my god, how am I gonna get to the nether? Oh, but- Oh, so I gotta- No, I- I was thinking I have to farm up- Oh gosh, there's a freaking- Dr. Bees! Sister your bees after the skeleton! You're supposed to help me, Dr. Bees! Oh god. Alright, Dr. Bees, you're not helping at all! Put your bees on the skeleton! But seriously, now that I think about it, the only way that I can get to the nether without, like, in a timely manner without having to go look, like, for stuff is by going to the wolf tribe in Brightport and, uh, like, the werewolf tribe in Brightport and using their nether portal to go to the nether. How did, how did, how did the chicken shaman, how did Caster the chicken shaman get there? Like, there, there's gotta be something, is, what's that over there? No, that's nothing, that's just a tree. Oh, darn it. Alright, so we gotta go to Brightport now. Gosh darn it, I, I just came from my village and... Ugh, all right, let's go over to Brightport and see exactly what we can get done. Um, so I think we're going to just leave it right here because that's going to be a little bit of a travel. And if I'm going to the nether, I need to make sure I have all of my potions and possibly one or two dogs. Anyway, guys, that's it for this episode of Minecraft Diaries. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. And I think, I mean, I couldn't mine the obsidian, but I think I need to get there in a timely manner before something bad happens to Cadenza. I mean, I'm sure... Well, actually, Lawrence said that he's had to go rescue. Oh, God. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Minecraft Diaries. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.